Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting uh, trick function here to evaluate. Um, let's draw our unit circle. The reason we draw a unit circle is the best way to find the sine, cosine uh, angles. The unit circle is named so because the radius is one. Okay, so basically, all the points on the curve has units. It's one unit from the center. 300, 300 degrees going around a circle once is 360. So 300, that means we're over here, we're 60 degrees away from going back, going all the way. Okay, so the the angle, you always go start from x-axis, and you go counterclockwise all the way here. So this, hand, this is 300 degrees. And the reason that unit circle is so used is that each point on the curve corresponding to certain angles, and the coordinates for each point is what we need, that in that x point, x coordinate is always cosine of the angle, and sine Theta is always the y value of the point, ending point here. Okay, so for our 300, we have cosine 300 for this point. Um, sine 300 is for the y coordinate. Okay, so in order to find the sine and cosine, we're, we're going to locate this point here. Now, the easiest way to locate this point is this find the coordinates. This one is 60 degrees, so the x distance is half because let's draw this triangle out here, outside, so we can see it better. Okay. Unit circle has unit of one, which means hypotenuse is one. This is a 30 degrees because we're 60 degrees away from going all the way here, and 90 is here, so 60 taking away from the 90, I have a 30 here. 30 degree angle has a special property is that whatever is opposite is always half of its hypotenuse. Using Pythagorean theorem here, you see this one is radical 3 over 2 because 1 square minus half square square roots is equal to 3 over 4 radical. Okay. This you simplify as radical 3 over 2. So the y value here is radical 3 over 2. Okay, so for this one, what we have then the x value is half radical 3 over 2 with a minus sign. Okay, now this corresponding to the cosine value. So from there, we see cosine 300 is equal to half. It's positive because the x is positive. Okay, I remember this is the x axis, so this one is a positive half. And then we have sine of 300 degrees, since in quadrant 4, it's negative with radical 3 over 2, because y value here is negative. Okay. And then secant 300 is 1 over cosine of 300, because secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. So this one is equal to 1 over 1 over 2, and secant of 300, then therefore is equal to Two. Uh, quick review here. So basically, all we did is we found the angle first on the unit circle. Angle is always going counterclockwise, and then you draw all the way back to where you need to stop. This is called the ending arm or terminating angle. And once you find that, you find the smallest reference angle with a major axis, and then you find the coordinates for this point that's on the circle. They intersect with the terminating angle, terminating arm. Okay. After you've done that, you're going to look for the xy coordinate. x coordinate is always corresponding to the cosine, and sine is the y coordinate. All right, hope this helps, and have a confident day.